to Mr. Juan Miguel de Rosario. He will uh, uh, welcome everyone. Thank you. Thank you for the applause. <laughs> It's a, mic, it's a speaker, I have to stay away from that, yeah. Well, welcome everyone, good morning um, to this very special event. It's the first of, we hope to be a series of events together with Seneca College. Uh, Toon City Academy, uh, for those of you who know, um, is, is, is a small school. Um, located within the environment of uh, Toon City, uh, the studio itself. Um, we take pride in, in, uh, in, in, in training, uh, budding uh, animators, uh, in a setting where we feel it's, it's quite unique because um, it's within a studio in itself. Um, there are many schools, well, Benji is here from College of St. Benil, uh, one of the more reputable schools uh, in the Philippines for animation, together with Ricky Orellana. Um, uh, we, we, we know that there are many studios already here in the Philippines. It's actually uh, the service uh, studio for animation in the Philippines has been around for about 30 years now. Um, we believe that we should move up to the next level. We think that the next level is content creation. And this is where Seneca comes in. And the partnership between Toon City Academy and Seneca comes at the right time. When we feel that the Philippines is ready to start providing content to the global audience. There have been some attempts in the past, as you probably know, uh, Filipino creators have come up with Philippine animation um, catered to the Philippine audience. Um, unfortunately, the Philippine audience is not sizable enough for it to be a profitable uh, endeavor. Um, Philippine animation, and maybe because culturally, um, we still need to be able to, to I guess, sympathize or, or support um, locally made products. Um, because of the lack of that, um, it seems that you know Philippine made products, or particularly animation, do not get the necessary support from the local uh, market. So with our 30 years of experience, in providing service for the Western world, uh, it seems that we have really reached a point where we are, the Philippines is noted for its creativity or for its expertise in providing service in the field of animation. I personally know, because I go to uh, at least three international events a year, and uh, they know that the Philippines is a center for creativity, particularly in animation. So we feel that it's now the time for us to be able to provide content to the world because that's the only way we could sustain. If we could produce content catering to the global market, hopefully it could become a profitable venture. And if it is a profitable venture, then we, could, we will be able to sustain um, this model. So it's for this reason that uh, we're asking, uh, we've asked Seneca College to provide us with uh, expertise, uh, starting with this uh, uh, storyboarding course, the basic storyboarding course. We are hoping that this will emerge into other uh, courses uh, in the future. And uh, Canada, being one of the biggest uh, producers of animation in the world, uh, we're lucky to have this kind of a relationship. We are definitely gratified, Mr. Ambassador, for the uh, support of the Canadian Embassy. And thank you very much, Ambassador John Holmes, for coming, for personally gracing this event. It means a lot to us because, again, the animation industry is a small, uh, uh, is a small group, even globally, but especially here in the Philippines. So your presence really is an honor. Um, so I'd like to welcome each and every one, uh, friends from uh, members of the board from Animation Council of the Philippines, uh, 
from government, uh, Paul Taon from Board of Investment. I know that Assistant Director Anthony Rivera is, is probably coming in a few minutes from DTI. And of course, Seneca College, and of course, uh, last but not the least, the Honorable uh, Ambassador John Holmes. Thank you very much for coming. Welcome.